Dear brothers and sisters, as we look at the spiritual path, spirituality is experiencing the love of God. So the path back to God is the path of love. And as we walk on the path of love, uh, there are many helping factors towards our goal. One of the factors that helps us in reaching the goal is that of selfless service. Service that we perform to make the lives of others better. Service that we perform in which we do not expect any reward for ourselves. The service that we perform so that uh, those who are in need and their needs are fulfilled. And the service the farm could come in uh, many areas by helping uh, someone in need uh, physically. We can help someone emotionally uh, when they're going through difficulties in life. We can help uh, others people intellectually uh, by, let's say, giving help to children so that they understand uh, the subjects that they're studying well. And we can help financially uh, by helping those who are in financial needs. Uh, but as we help, there should not be any expectation of any reward for ourselves. We help because we feel the pain of others. We help because we feel we are all connected. We help because we feel that if one of us is not doing well, then there will be effects on everyone else in the society also. And so extending a helping hand uh, to everyone is very, very important. Uh, in the last few years, a lot of research has gone on into the effects of those who help others. Uh, we live in a very uh, scientific age. We want proof for everything. And so there are expectations uh, of uh, trying to record what the results are when we do something. Uh, there was um, some research done uh, recently where they came to the, this conclusion. They said that uh, when uh, someone helps selflessly because they want to help, they're not looking for any rewards for themselves, the 50% of the people who help feel much more happier. And 13% of the people who help they feel that the pains in their own body get to be less. Whether it's the pain in the back, whether it's pain in the shoulder, it's pain in the legs. Uh, we all, as we age, have pains in our physical body. So this was very interesting that um, the research showed that those who help others, uh, whether financially or emotionally or intellectually or physically, that they themselves were relieved of the pains that were coming to them physically. Um, there's a hospital in New York uh, We did this research and, and many, many other people all around uh, different countries are doing research into uh, what makes us happier, what makes our life more joyous, what makes our life more fulfilling and what is it uh, that affects our day-to-day -day existence? Uh, when we look back at history and we uh, look into the teachings of the great saints and mystics, we find time and time again the emphasis placed on selfless service. The spiritual masters of the past century, Hazur Baba Savan Singh Ji Maharaj, Param Sankipal Singh Ji Maharaj and Dayal Prasan Darshan Singh Ji Maharaj have laid emphasis on us being able to do seva, to, to help someone selflessly. And they've told us that the benefits that we get are similar to the benefits of meditation. And so, if you were, let's say, supposed to meditate for two and a half hours, and then you got an opportunity to do seva for one hour, and then sat to meditate for the next one and a half hours, 
you will find that the benefits would be as tremendous as if you meditated for two and a half hours. Because when we do seva, the gains that come to us are coming in the spiritual arena. And when we help someone, there are tremendous, tremendous gains that come to us. About 700 years ago, uh, there was a plague that hit Europe very, very badly. It is said that about one third of the population was affected by that plague. And so, people who were not affected were very afraid to be close to the people who had plague. Because the feeling was that if you're close to the, those who have plague, that you would get plague yourself. And so bodies were just left wherever they died. So people in their homes had bodies who had physically passed away. And, and all over the place there were bodies who were left because no one was there to take care of their last rites. And so there was a lot of smell which was in the city. So it said that in Italy, there was a saint whose name was Saint uh, Catherine. And she gathered some of people around her and they would take things which would smell good so that the arena which was like full of a uh, very bad smell uh, would get better and help would be provided uh, by this group of people to those who had the plague. So when we look back at history, uh, we find time and time again help coming from people in, in very, very difficult times. And, and the gains that come to us when we help someone else are so tremendous that uh, we ourselves uh, feel well. The research which talks about uh, the pains of people getting better is telling us that as we help someone our own physical being is getting helped also. Our, our physical body is getting help, our mental state is getting help, our emotional state is getting help, and so we are becoming uh, a person who is going to be well in all arenas. And so, as we look at our lives, it is important that we focus on the principle of selfless service. If we can help someone physically, we have the strength, God has given us uh, the strength in the body and the wellness in the physical body, then we should help in that manner. If we uh, have a right understanding, then there are many people who go through ups and downs of life, who have uh, emotional stress, then we can help them emotionally understand the situation better and have them understand the ups and downs of life are a part of life, but many times all you need is a shoulder to give to someone else who's in pain. They just want someone to talk to. They don't want to be alone, they want that someone is with them. If you can help someone uh, intellectually, uh, because you've studied well and you have a clear understanding of some of the subjects, you can uh, help people that way. Whatever help we provide uh, takes the loneliness of the person away also. And it's the loneliness that brings difficulties to many people. It is said in the time when this uh, plague came, 700 years ago, uh, people were just left by themselves, even when they were sick, no one wanted to come close to them. And so they were um, alone and had a very difficult time. And there's a very interesting uh, anecdote of a comedian. And there was a comedian who lived in those days, and he had a great following and he would uh, give comedy shows and many people would come to his shows and uh, many people would look up to him because he brought joy and laughter and happiness in their lives. But then he caught the plague and as he caught the plague, slowly, 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 no one wanted to be with him. So much so that his family members also were away from him. And, and he found that all he had around him were flies. So he wrote a will. And when he wrote a will, he sent it to his lawyer to, to register the will. So when the lawyer opened up the will, and he read what was written there, he was amazed because he said, oh, this must be a joke. Because what was written there by the comedian was, 
that after I pass away, a yearly uh, amount of money should be given to my children. But they should be told that once a year, they have to send a box of pears to the flies. If they don't do that, then they should not be given any money. So the lawyer thought that he must be joking. So the lawyer contacted him and said, what are you writing about? Giving uh, pears to the flies. And he said, no, 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 I want you to put that in my will. Because I want my children to realize that the only ones who were with me were the flies. Because no one else was around me. And so I want to have the flies get the benefit of the help that they provided to me to take my loneliness away. So when we help someone, there are tremendous, tremendous amounts of gain. You know, we all go through different times in life. Sometimes we might be physically safe, sometimes we might have some emotional problems, sometimes we might have some mental difficulties. But when we feel alone, that loneliness is more difficult than anything else in life. And so when we know that there's someone else who can help us, that someone else is there, and this is why the saints have said, our best friend is God the Creator. Because God is always there for us, irrespective of whatever uh, we are going through life. So the presence of God is always there. God is always there to help us. And irrespective of whatever we do, whatever we pass through, God is always going to be there. And, and we as human beings, our reflection of God. God created human beings to help each other. And so we need to understand that and we need to put that in our day-to-day -day life. And when we help someone and then we sit to meditate, we find that our meditations get better and better and better. So one of the keys to develop on the spiritual path is to inculcate the virtue of selfless service. And as we do selfless service or seva, we'll find tremendous benefits coming not only to those who we help, but also to ourselves. So let us meditate for a few minutes. Please sit as comfortably as you can. Close your eyes very gently, just like you close them when you go to sleep. Your eyeball should be straight, focused, eight or ten inches in front of you. And as you close your eyes, those of you who have been initiated in the mysteries of the beyond, please do your simran. And those of you who are new here, uh, please repeat any name of God that you feel comfortable with. This repetition of God's name should be done mentally and not out loud. I pray to God Almighty to help each and every one of us here connect with the Divine Power. And this is my prayer to the three great spiritual masters of the past century, Azur Baba Savan Singh Ji Maharaj, Param Samdipal Singh Ji Maharaj, and Dhyalpur Sandarshan Singh Ji Maharaj, to help each and every one of us connect with the Divine Light within and experience the Divine Light in its effulgence. I uh, will be sitting for a little while, I'll be getting out of this meditation at that time, and my best wishes are with each and every one of you.
प्लीज़ लीव और छोड़ दीजिए जी